you know, given how hard um, the first three days of camp are, how much these guys get skated, were you surprised, impressed at how much? Very impressed. Had? I'm very. That's the mo That's the thing I'm most impressed about. I've seen every day of the camp and uh, just credit to those guys. You know, they, they came in great shape this year again, and um, it shows. It's tough. It's people don't realize how tough those three days are, and now you got to travel and uh, play a game against. Uh, the Capitals and show up like they did, it's impressive. With, with Mitch Cobb, you talked before the game that you were going to play. Did he play enough? Yeah, I think he okay. did. <laughs> he, I mean, through two periods, he was leading everyone in nice time on the team. Usually he's a defenseman. Uh, I mean, what did, you, right? what did you see from him uh, today? And he did talk about how he has to work on some things. What are maybe something well, he that does. He's 19 years old. But uh, I think he's a little bit tired from the skating tests and all those, that skating that they've been doing for the past three days. But he's got hands of... Uh, you know, a star in this league. He makes plays under pressure. He was, you know, not too many people can make those plays that he was making on the power play with that poise. And it's, for me, I'm just uh, blown away that he's only 19 years old. And, you know, Lushenko's the, the same way. He just turned 18 a month ago. And that's the kid that um, skating is not hurting him at all. He's so fast out there. And, and I said that yesterday. Um, uh, the future is bright. And when you see two kids like that with that much skills and that much poise, and I'm just looking forward to see when the camp goes up, the, the, um, you know, the, the skill level is going to go up, and I can wait to see how they're going to adjust to that. Bobby Brink obviously had a, a big game. Have you gotten the sense that he's approaching this camp this preseason kind of the same way he did last year where he was really trying to earn a spot and bang the door down? Yeah, but I think it's even uh, he's more hungry. He wants to show that he doesn't want to come back to me. He doesn't want to go to Lehigh Valley, and that's okay. I don't think it personal. It's, uh, but he, he's got that. Even in those scrimmages and the tests and everything, he looks faster. So all credit to him. He did the work this summer, and it shows. He played a hell of a game tonight, uh, today, I should say, and uh, two skill goals that there's not too many people in the world that can score goals like that. You mentioned Jet. You mentioned Jet. Uh, when you run through, like, you played last week with the rookie game. Did you see anything different today? Because he was Matt Day last week. Did you see any different today? Like, that's No, I didn't. And that's impressive. He was great last week in the rookie games, and he's still the same player which the level goes up but he's still the same which is I'm to be honest like I didn't know he was I knew Mitchkov because everybody talked about him I watch him on tape Jet was a first round pick this year I don't watch all those kids but just to see what he can do and the maturity in his game and just how composed he is on the bench I'm uh, more than impressed by him you know he's gonna um, you know he's gonna play at this level for many many years that's for sure what's it like watching uh, a healthy Jamie Drysdale out there. It's great. Like, you know, I, I didn't coach him last year. I didn't know where he was coming from, but I know one thing, like today, he was moving that blue line on the power play, like what everybody talked about when he was in Anaheim, what he can do. And again, it's early in camp, but um, but guys like that, it's he's a veteran, so he's only going to get better. But what he did today was pretty impressive.